Good afternoon, namaste. I have here with me a very esteemed and distinguished guest, Dr. Ashok Sharma. Good afternoon, Dr. Sharma. Thank you for joining us in this Plants to Patient Series 3. We are very, very much grateful to have you here with us and delivering a very interesting lecture as well. So, how do you find the conference so far? Yeah, it's a wonderful, very interesting and very informative. I think such kind of conference and seminar we should arrange time to time to bring ancient Indian medicine field like Ayurveda in front and in, in front of world so that millions of people which are suffer from illness and a lot of things like cancer, diabetes, neurological disorders. Mm -hmm. So they will get benefit. Because in India these practices are processed thousands of years. But at present we need to generate the evidence. Like in laboratory, using the latest biomedical tools, artificial intelligence, animal model, cell culture work. And there are advanced techniques to extract the skin to get a to attack on the plant. But these traditions have been thousands of years in the country. But they have not come in the front row. Because current government and Patanjali, I, I thanks to Patanjali, uh, Swamiji, Acharya Ji, they taking the lead. And uh, that is the reason you see Yoga Day, one of the Prime Minister, make uh, a word Yoga Day. Mm -hmm which directly impact on the mental status of the health of the every human being. So I think uh, that you get meeting, today meeting, we get a chance to interact uh, with wonderful eminent speakers and they talk a lot of information which also give the direction and guidance to develop further new research projects. So you have a wonderful meeting, wonderful lectures, wonderful speakers and I thanks to the PRI for giving the chance and inviting me in this great conference. We are also very grateful to have you here as well and very, very encouraging, supportive words from uh, Dr. Sharma. So, um, so you know that in Pantajali Research Institute, like what you say, we are doing traditional, uh, we are bringing traditional Ayurveda medicines and then we are also backing up with the modern science. So we are merging them together and we're putting it into the forefront, into the world globally as well. So as we continue this project, what will be your advice to the scientists, to the young scientists, you know, the young scientists, how they're going to go on and continue doing this work? See, every human being which is ill or has some kind of disease, he wants to become healthy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether allopathic medicine, ayurvedic medicine, chitta, yunani, they are different other things, mechanisms through which patients want to become pure, become healthy. So, and these days there are a lot of like conflict between ayurveda and allopath, which is very unfortunate. But every, this is science. Every science has their own rights, their own importance. It depends on time. For example, someone in the accident. So definitely Ayurveda not work like this. Allopathic medicine needs immediate interference. But Ayurveda help to prevent we are become how become a healthy. So like we are going to take the leads to develop by using the modern tools and techniques to establish the evidence for med Ayurvedic medicine which already present in the literature with us. So already we are doing great things, but still we need to develop more collaborative projects, bring the scientists in that field, so they will generate the evidence, but may pub uh, publish more research articles, clinical trials we should conduct. In this direction we already uh, make a small project with Anwar Vasniji in the um, Orient Cancer Clinical Trial with my uh, other collaborators in the Surgical Oncology Professor MD there. We already have taken the ethical clearance. We are going to start this project soon. So in, in that way we generate more funds for the to boost the Ayurvedic research, more public awareness, 
Because one thing that people have the oh, allergy medicine takes a lot of time to cure and disease. But that is not a truth. A lot of anti-cancer drugs are come wind crystal and blast in already come from the plants and the metabolites. Painkiller from the plants. They have no treatment available for uh, very good painkiller for the cancer patients, which are interested in here. Okay, so priority pillar. So definitely uh, I personally believe that one uh, we need to work like a team or Ayurvedic uh, doctors, allopathic doctors, researchers, uh, bioinformatics and computer programmers. Because this is very blessed. You remember I saw one slide in my presentation. Three arms, allopathic, Ayurvedic and AI tool, modern tools. If we bring that together, definitely we provide a better healthcare system to the common people and we generate the fund, public-private partnerships, academia industry partnerships and main thing that we train our women to go to medicine in the kitchen. I saw uh, and I also speak once so, uh, to which I appreciate the women, because women are the center point, they make the food and a lot of medicines already present in the kitchen. So what time, what type of food you are eating, how much quantity you are eating and uh, so all these factors like help to become healthy. So definitely we need to make more collaboration, more conservation, awareness and write a more clinical trial we should conduct. That's a very, very good advice from Sir, and we will definitely, I think the young scientists at Vantajali Research Institute will definitely take note of this advice as they continue to do their experiments and their research work. We're going to pro do, produce a lot of research work and a lot of collaboration with Sir as well. In one line, say something about Vantajali Research Institute. Vantajali, just one word, is a wonderful and it's a good example of team. Adalili is a good example of team. Together, everyone achieves more. So, Patali set the example to bring modern scientists, researchers like me. I saw a lot of um, allopathic clinicians here. They are programmers, computer programmers, bioinformaticians. So, today, that is the platform where all the other things which I am saying to Patanji are doing a wonderful job and we are looking more efforts and more support from the Patanji uh, so we will make Bharat Vishwa Guru again as the dream of our Prime Minister Modi. Thank you sir, thank you for such wonderful words, very positive words the team at Pantajali Research Institute, Ashara Ji Swamiji will be very, very delightful to hear this. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for taking Thank time you. from your position.